is the second Children and Families Emmys, but this is also your second year being nominated for, for this show. Um, what is it like to have a, an Emmy category that is able to give so much love uh, to something like Fraggle Rock? Well, that's what Karen, you know, keeps saying is it's yes. so powerful to have a puppetry category finally because what we do is so hard to describe and it's so unique in, 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 in its skills. What's that? Yeah, yes, it, they've got puppetry um, design and styling. That's a whole... Oh, my that's so, so much work. We've got a huge crew of amazingly talented people and then puppetry performance and that is, is also... It's, it's wonderful to acknowledge that puppetry is, is not just a voice, although, you know, voice actors do it in, incredible, wonderful work, but acknowledging the puppetry is also the technical and physical aspects, uh, kind of like playing a musical instrument. So so puppetry performance, uh, again, acknowledging the, the voice and the technical, physical performance. So it's really wonderful that people are, are getting that awareness of it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you started with the original Fraggle Rock? The OG. And, and you probably were reared on it. I, I, it's the show that started my entire career, yes. Yeah, um, what was what was the moment like for you getting on the show and for you having having watched a generation of fans enter puppetry because of the work you were doing? Well, my very first time doing Go Bar when I took it over was with Karen for a series of promotional pieces. And I was, I'd was known Karen as a person for years, but we never worked together in that way. And I remember the night before, not sleeping at all, I was so nervous, and Karen was so well, warm and welcoming and was like, encouraging. And it was weird, we had this moment, we started playing after about an hour or two, and it just felt like, for me, it felt like it felt natural, and it felt like we'd done it for a while. Yes. And it's been like that ever since. It's, it's, it's been the greatest honor, truly, of my entire career. Yeah, and it's, it's so exciting working on the, um, uh, the the new Fraggle show and seeing all, all these people like, like Johnny that, um, uh, you know, the, the message and the, and the feeling and the thought that, that, that uh, we and Jim Henson put into the show 40 years ago has, has kind of come into their DNA and now they are, you know, carrying it forward, building on it in an explosive, amazing way. And it's, it's just a, a, a thrill that people still appreciate it and are taking it to, to new heights. Karen's heard me say it a million times, but it really is true. Besides the fact she's one of my heroes, is the fact that uh, when people would ask me when I was a kid, what's your dream job? I'd always say, well, it doesn't exist anymore. And they'd say, what do you mean? And it was to work on the Rock, but it wrapped by the time I was old enough to know that. So the fact that we get to do this now, and, and we're here at the Emmys, and we're nominated, it's just, it's really surreal, and I don't really think I'm here. I think it's a lie. I think the Matrix is broken, and I'm going to woken up any minute. That's what I think is going to happen. It's true. It's, it's real. true. It's here. I know. It's you real. need to keep pinching him. And, uh, yes, please do. Congratulations. I hope you guys have many more years of fun with the Thank you. Thank you.